is perfect. That is freaking perfect. Certain places on Iowaland, I know when they get too popular, um, a lot of people come there and then it ends up making the place close down. I've seen it happen plenty of times. I know you guys, if you guys camp, you guys probably seen it happen too. Do y'all buy these? They, they have the house smelling good, but Aisha can't stand the smell because it's kind of strong. So I don't buy them. Ew. The pumpkin spice don't smell too bad. Oh, wow. These were a dollar last year. Look at how, and they're smaller this year and they cost more. Michael. Michael. Back into it. Back into it. Mm, mm, mm. Michael. Okay, so here we are as you saw from the previous clip this is three days later and of course she's working um, and I'm assisting a client with their account making sure that everything is okay and taking my notes as I need to take them so um, we have about eight minutes to help and uh, customers or members or clients mm -hmm. with their um, concerns however if we need to um, continue on uh, with the call for longer than eight minutes then at that time you know we'll bring on a supervisor to help right. us resolve whatever it is that needs to be resolved if the customer or client or member is not satisfied with what I'm helping them with but so far everything has been pretty good um, and with this particular person you know we're just like I said taking notes and doing what needs to be done to uh, keep them on the right step with their account.
Okay, so your girl is on her 30 minute lunch break and one of the pleasures of working from home is being able to handle those tasks that you were unable to handle the previous day. Because being a full-time caregiver, this work-life balance thing can be challenging sometimes. And this was one of those days um, where I had to add a little bit extra onto my work-life balance because it was off balance the previous day. Now, I don't mind washing the dishes during my lunch break. It just would be nice to be able to just chill and watch some YouTube or just take a nap. But you know what? It is what it is as a caregiver. Um, and I've learned that, you know, my house is not going to always be magazine ready like it used to be. Um, so, you know, things change and you have to who move your cheese. Because there's a book that I read. If you've never worked, read that book, go read it. Who Moved My Cheese? So sometimes you have to do that. Don't know him and Han. Just do what needs to be done and, and, and move on. <laughs> so yeah, if you're dealing with someone or know someone who's a caregiver and they're doing this all alone, please do not be hard on them. Please encourage them to keep going. Please, you know... Um, believe them when they tell you they're tired it's not that we don't want to be there it's just that we're too tired to be there our brain needs rest our body needs rest and one of you is constantly asking me am i resting and i appreciate you for doing that thank you i love you all right so now i am back at work and as you can see i'm eating a bag of chips i really need to get better at eating lunch but I tend to not want to eat lunch because that 3 p.m. itis is no joke absolutely no joke <laughs> All right, so wait, let me take my glasses off. I don't think I'm gonna edit that out either. <laughs> um, but she has a 15 minute break. I'm going to take me a nap because she's tired. Um, and I do have my Christmas decor on my bed. So yeah, that's why you see the red and the black and the white because of the colors that's in the snowman but I'm going to enjoy these 15 minutes that I have um, because during my lunch break as you saw I washed dishes and then during my first 15 minute break um, I cooked myself no I didn't I didn't cook breakfast I went downstairs and got dad's medicine together and um, left his shake on the table as well as his water and then Aisha went down um, around 11:45 and um, made his breakfast because that's what times he get up. that's what time Dad gets up. So um, I, you know, just wanted to do something to alleviate the amount that um, she had to do as far as helping me with Dad. So um, yeah, I really appreciate that. But I'm not going to talk too long because those 15 minutes can go by really fast. And this is my last break of the day. Um, well, let me see what time is it right now. It is 3:37, but it's always good to talk to you all. Um, and I'm enjoying my 12 days of Christmas. So yeah, exciting, huh? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I will get back with y'all later because she's rambling right now and I don't like to ramble. All right, over and out. All right, y'all. She has clocked out for the day. Um, and, um, as you can see, it's dark outside. Because <laughs> due to the fact that we are on... We're no longer on daylight savings. When I get off work, it'd be dark. And you can see I changed my glasses and haven't even taken them off while I'm talking to y'all. So let's do that. <laughs> um, but the day, oh, and dad's TV. Can y'all hear it? 
I'm looking at myself. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, um, anyway, um, this is my station behind me. Woo! That's all you get to see. Um, the day went well. I just laid on something. Oh, Asia made me some popcorn for an after work snack. Um, and I almost just fell back on it. But the day went quite well. Um, I did some, um, I had some downtime. So I did some benchmark training. Um, and it's not necessary for us to do the benchmark training. I just do it because I like to improve my skill set. And um, I, I love learning. I'm one that enjoys learning. You can never have too much education. And you can never be too skilled in your line of work to the point where you can't learn anything else. So learning is always key um, to growth and maintaining the um, quality of work that you're wanting to provide. So, yeah, I just went in and got some of that done. Y'all, I just brushed my teeth because I did eat some of that popcorn that Asia gave me. And now my lips are dry and I don't want to go back over. I don't feel like getting up off the bed. I have been so tired after work that, like, literally yesterday I logged off. I took a shower. I fixed dad something to eat. I did a quick meal. Actually, it, it should have been a quick meal, but I almost burned the chicken. Because I didn't turn the eye down low enough for me to multitask in the way that I want to do. <laughs> so I almost burned the chicken while I was up here taking a shower. Um, but I, I did get back down there in time to keep it from completely burning. I was able to save it. But yo, I was so tired when I got doing, done doing all of that. That I came upstairs and... I got, I laid down because last night was bath night for dad. And I laid down just to take a nap and I fell asleep. I was out. I was so tired. Um, that's why you saw in today's vlog that I was cleaning up the kitchen during my lunch break. Cause I didn't wash dishes last night and believe it or not. Like I said earlier, we mess up that amount of dishes in one day one day but yeah so i was so tired um i forgot to tell my grandbaby happy birthday so i had to call her today when i got off work i talked to her and her mom and told them happy birthday and happy mommy anniversary um and that was pretty much it so yeah i'm not gonna do too much of anything else today excuse me i may separate my laundry because i do want to wash some laundry uh, no, it's supposed to rain, I think tomorrow. So I may save the laundry for this weekend because as I don't know if y'all saw Aisha's video and she mentioned that our dryer broke it. I don't know if it's the belt or whatever, but, um, I turned the handle on the dryer, girl, dude, the handle broke off. So, because I was going to try to, um, see if it was just the belt and just be like, you know what, we just gonna replace this belt and and um, go from there. But when I went down there to turn the knob, the, which, which determines the cycle that the dryer is on, it fell off and I laughed and I said, okay, God, all right. That's just your way of telling me I need to not hold on to this dryer and I need to get something <laughs> brand new. So I've been looking for sets, but with the inflation, the way it is, everything is so expensive. Like you're paying a thousand dollars per piece, a thousand dollars for the dryer and a thousand dollars for the washer. And I'm like, ain't nobody got time for that. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, how. And I would look for a used one, but I kind of really don't trust the used ones, even though the set that I have downstairs was a used one when I got it, but it was gifted to me. And, um, the woman that gifted it to me, I trust her with, um, what she was giving me. So yeah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't mind the fact that it was used along with the fact it was gifted. I can't complain. 
whether it half worked or not. You can't complain about something that's given to you for free. So that was a blessing within itself. And the dryer lasted the four years that we've been here. So I, I'm grateful for that and still have the dryer. I mean, the washer, the washer is going strong. I'm grateful for that. So yeah, that all of that to say, <laughs> um, I'm going to, um, probably separate some of my clothes so I can do some laundry tomorrow during one of my breaks. Um, if I don't save it for the weekend and then cook dad's dinner, come upstairs, I'm going to chill. I probably will not take a shower today because all I did was sat at my desk. I didn't go outside. I didn't do anything today. So I probably just wait and take a shower in the morning. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I think I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see you on the next video. Happy 12 days of Christmas. <laughs>